First at five, a Tulsa man says he believes he can end homelessness in green country, but it'll take all of us to make it happen. Two News Oklahoma reporter Caitlin Rebus spoke with the man and breaks down his plan to help. Chris Stevens is the pastor at New Life Church and founder of Healing Houses. He's worked with the homeless for 11 years and says he's come up with a plan to end homelessness for good. The homeless population in Tulsa grows every day and the resources and space for the unhoused can only do so much. So Chris Stevens came up with Healing Houses. It's not just housing. We truly want to heal the whole person. Stevens says while the shelters in Tulsa do a good job, it's not fixing the underlying issue. But Stevens says his three-part program works by healing the person, finding them housing, and helping them create a better life for themselves. It starts with um, transitional tiny home community where we can offer someone who's willing and ready to get off the streets immediate housing into a program. No wait, no three, four, six month wait to get in housing when they're ready to go. Step one is getting people off the streets. Step two is to heal the person. Which is a traditional house uh, setting in a recovery, Christ-centered and recovery-centered environment. And step three, independent living. We'll offer a uh, full range, uh, most complete wraparound services available um, as far as everything they need from um, spiritual growth, um, job training and placement, um, count professional counseling and therapy, uh, everybody will be required to uh, participate in our wraparound services. Stephen says if you cure the addiction, 75% of homelessness would be eradicated, but just housing them will not keep them off the streets. We've seen that in Tulsa. We've seen that around the nation. It does not work where many organizations are just trying to house people that do not want housed. And that's not what we're here for. We are actually a program, not a shelter. Um, and so we know healing comes first and then housing uh, will come after that. Stephen says no one wants to be homeless. No one likes sleeping in the street, but it will take compassion and humility from all of us to make a difference. Stephen says the Healing Houses program is currently looking for funding and land to build the tiny home community. He says he's hopeful to be up and running as soon as possible so homeless Tolsons can get back on their feet and live a safe and happy life. In studio, Caitlin Rivas, 2 News, Oklahoma.